Hello fish lovers and welcome back to my channel. It's been a week since I edit the first drop of uh, cupramine in this tank and I have uh, one good news which is my fish do not have any ink on them anymore and one bad news I do not have any living coral in this tank. So I have added slowly every day um, cupramine inside my display tank. I added maybe half of uh, the bottle, like the bottle is 100 milliliters and I added 50 milliliters, which is uh, way more than uh, the recommended dose, but I do have a copper test and I test it and test it every day and I'm going to continue to test every day for two weeks. And testing for copper is very important because not all of the aquariums are the same. My, my tank uh, required a, a much uh, bigger dose of uh, copramine, maybe because of the sand and the rock and the water uh, volume, but I did add copramine to the tank until I reached a, con a copper concentration of uh, 0.6 uh, the and the cupramine uh, says that 0.5 concentration of copper should be kept in the tank for two weeks but I'm going to keep uh, 0.6 uh, copper concentration and let me tell you something about my fish I did last my uh, powder blue tank but it wasn't because of the copper uh, it was because of the ick, but uh, except that, my all of my other fish are doing great. They are eating, they are swimming. Uh, this guy over here, it was very close to dying. It was covered in ick, like just like a fish that you dip it in powder, in sugar. It was just covered and wasn't moving around. But after two days of cupramine, it was doing much better and now it's eating and I'm very happy. But every coral that I have, I had in this tank, dead. They got really, really small and um, now I, they are all dead. I'm going to show you a close up with my corals. But fortunately, I do have my starfish and some of my corals in a small 60 liter aquarium over there. Now, I do not see any ink on my fish, but I am going to keep the copper concentration um, for two weeks now. And after that, I'm going to have to remove the copper from my tank. And I'm going to do that first with um, activated carbon that I'm going to be putting into my do-it-yourself reactor so I'm going to be sure that all of my water is going to pass to, through the activated carbon and if that doesn't work I'm going to buy some uh, special uh, material that is made uh, especially to get copper out of the water but I am hoping that it's going to work with uh, activated carbon because I do have a lot of activated carbon around and I'm going to use that first. So let me give you guys a close up with my, my fish, my tank and my smaller tank. This used to be covered in, car in corals. You can see that they are all dead. I still have the coralline algae but my Montiporal coral over there it's all white this one the same and I think this I have some Paleotoa or Zoantis uh, around this rock but now they are gone I didn't have a lot of corals to start with but everything is dead 
I had a mushroom over there dead. Uh, sorry, I removed all of the corals from this rock. You can see some corals over there dead. But my fish are doing okay. Let me out of focus here. My yellow tank was full of ink. It was sitting over there in the water flow. Because the ick parasite was uh, attached in its gills and uh, didn't have enough oxygen. But now it's fine. My clownfish was also covered in ick. My blue tanks also. So I only lost my powder blue tank. But everything is doing fine. Like I said, the fish are eating. They're swimming around, they're looking very happy. You can see they're trying to eat the dead coral. So let's go ahead to the right. You see my small tank over there. All of my snails, my starfish and some of the corals are here. But um, this tank doesn't have the necessary lightning um, to grow coral. But I, I'm hoping that they are going to survive for two more weeks in here. You can see them. That is the uh, coral that I had in my tank. My snails are all here. And they are still alive. So when I'm going to eliminate all of the copper from my main my main tank I'm going to add the corals snails starfish from this tank to my big tank and I will not put another fish into this tank until I quarantine and I'm going to use this little tank over here to quarantine my fish for two weeks to see if they are scratching if they are flashing if they have any parasites and after that I'm going to put them into my big uh, aquarium. So, lesson learned. I know I should quarantine all of my fish, but I was too lazy to do that. So, this was my cupramine in display tank update. Hope that you guys like it and learn something from my mistakes.